Um, we're at the workshop this morning. We're gonna drain the tank on the Civic because we think that um, there's some old gas that may still be in the tank. So we're gonna drain the tank and we're gonna change the pump and see if that helps with the issues we're getting with the car idling and the low fuel pressure. So. Alright guys, um, back at the workshop now, got the replacement filter and the high pressure hose for the pump. Um, if you remember we had an issue with the pump with the high pressure hose um, deteriorating. If you look, it's there. It actually melted onto the pump cradle. So I've now got in the new replacement. And we got the high pressure hose. And we have a new filter. So we're gonna try to install this into the cradle and then put it back in the car. This is the actual hose that came off. Seems the inside seems to be good, but obviously it will not hold the pressure. So that may be what was the cause of um, our low fuel pressure. Hopefully, not that I have took off the high pressure hose. As you see, it is literally melted onto the cradle. I gotta clean up all of that just to make sure it doesn't leave any residue in the tank when we reinstall it. Okay, now we've got back in the new line, new high pressure line, tank is back in the cradle, we have on the new clean filter, next is to reinstall it in the gas tank.
Uh, we're back here with the Civic. Yesterday we changed the fuel filter and the high pressure hose and reinstalled that. Tried um, the, to see what the fuel pressure was and the fuel pressure rate so that took care of that issue of the low fuel pressure. But in trying to start the car we realized that um, the car is only running on three cylinders. After some inspections, this is what we found. This is the plug for um, number one cylinder. As you see, it is perfectly clean. So we are not firing on cylinder one. I'll show you the other plugs for the other cylinders. As you see, we have some residue on that cylinder so we know that at least sparking and there's some sort of combustion in that chamber that's happening for cylinder 3 and cylinder 4 cylinder 4 being a little bit richer um, again that can be because of obviously the engine isn't totally tuned as yet so maybe just getting a little more fuel going into that cylinder at the moment um, what I realize also is that obviously it cannot be a problem with the coil because we use cylinder one to check the timing and we were getting spark at that um, cylinder and with that coil so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna check the harness on cylinder one as you can see um, one of the wires is actually kind of out so we're gonna try to see if you're getting a signal to that and if we are I'm gonna then try to pull this injector and see if that may be clogged based on um, the issues we had with the fuel pump um, it's very possible that there is some residue in the system that may have gone past or stop fuel pressure um, fuel filter. All of that will be out shortly as we upgrade the fuel system. But I would still like to have the car idling and working with this setup before we look at doing the changeover. So that I know it is not an issue with changing the fuel system that may have caused any problems that we may arise when we do that so right now we're gonna um, test to see if we're getting any power at the harness end of the injector and we'll go from there so I think we found okay I think we found the problem hopefully this can be easily fixed um, I'll show you guys one of the wires actually loose on the injector we had to, um, when we were doing over this harness, we had to change this wire because the existing wire was broken. So I don't know if the guys didn't, um, obviously they didn't solder it together. Um, so I'm going to see if I can actually fix this without having to take out the harness or the, um, take off the manifold you see how it goes all right guys um, fix the first issue with the first part of the harness and reinstalling it I realize that the second the clip piece is also broken so I'm gonna go and get some new clips with um, pigtails and reconnect them from there Alright guys, we are back by the car today, um, I got the pigtail for the car, so now it's just a case of reinstalling it on the injector that's there.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.